the Missionary Society of St. Paul. Like the small mustard seed that falls on the ground to become a tree, the missionary spirit was sown in the heart of Father Joseph de Piro and grew in the members of the Missionary Society of St. Paul, which he founded. The community started in a very humble state in Malta and its aim was to go and proclaim the good news to places that lacked this message. Joseph de Piro had to face many difficulties at the start of the congregation. First of all, because many of his fellow priests did not understand really why would he found a missionary congregation. At the very beginning of the life of the society, just only after 23 years from its beginning, the founder passed away and the members, the early members of the congregation, were not prepared to take on the leadership of the congregation to their own hands. Yet, because of their faith, because of the perseverance, because this was a dream that was not simply Joseph de Piro's dream, but God's dream, it persisted. And the missionary zeal that Joseph de Piro passed on to his early members was kept alive through the faithfulness of our brothers who were the first to join our founder in fulfilling and giving concrete reality to his missionary dream. Actually, one of our greatest inspiration is Brother Joseph Caruana, who was sent by the founder himself to Ethiopia, and there he stayed for 46 years until his death. I will follow you wherever you go. This is one of the mottos of the society at the heart of the Piro. To be completely available to God is the spirit by which animated the first members and continues to animate the Paulist missionaries today. For us Paulist missionaries to follow Jesus is to enter first and foremost in a deep relationship with him. Like Saint Paul who experienced his conversion, his, the love of God and the mercy of God, we also experience this in our own lives. And then we go out and share it with those who need this good news the good news of Jesus Christ, which is love, which is mercy. That's our vision, that's our mission, to really be imbued by this love of God to share with others.
The spirit of God's love is sustained in the missionaries' hearts with communal liturgy, especially the Eucharist, with personal prayer and meditation, with spiritual reading and study. During the year, we have also retreats which help us to nourish and deepen our relationship uh, with God, which is a source of our strength and uh, fulfillment of our mission entrusted to us. What is the mission of the MSSP? Each Christian is called to partake in this plan. Paulist missionaries fulfill God's mission by reaching out to the peripheries of societies. Each Christian is called to partake in this plan. Paulist missionaries fulfill God's mission by reaching out to the peripheries of societies. I can say that from the beginning, from the arrival of the first MSSP in Peru, the Maltese, no? they saw the necessity of uh, the missionaries and good shepherds, especially going around of the city, the peripheries that we call in Peru the Pueblos Jóvenes, and also the reality of the abandonment of the towns and the villages in another province outside of the, of the city, of the capital. And seeing that reality, the MSSP community decided to take some actions through some services, starting the communities, starting the building of chapels. And after 50 years, I can say that all this work uh, grew up and now became really a beautiful mission for the benefit, especially the poor ones. So last summer I had the opportunity to visit Pakistan. I joined a, gr a group of doctors and a pharmacist who went there um, as a part of a volunteer work experience. I really enjoyed this experience because I had the chance to see this mission where MSSP fathers are serving. The work they did there in the, in the parishes, basically they, they help in the parishes with mass and other support which the people need, but we also provided them with some medical help. It also helped me in my formation journey because it was a, an experience where I could experience a culture which is really, really different from mine. Um, also to experience life there in Pakistan, even though it was short, uh, we stayed there for only three weeks, but um, it was a good experience nonetheless. The Paulist priests, brothers and lay work together to bring hope to those who are striving in life, to love and bring a culture of love with Christ at the centre. to bring love, hope, and Christ to people is first we need to establish and grow our personal intimate relationship with the Lord. And second, we need to go beyond our comfort zone and to reach out to people.
part of our formation here in the seminary is to have an apostolate or ministry. I already tried to be in Mother Teresa's home, large community, and in the prisoners. At the moment, I'm doing my ministry in the parish near here in Manila. I'm helping in their ba basic ecclesial community. What we're doing is to bring hope to these people, even sometimes to bring love no, to them, to these people that we are, we are helping, and sometimes just simply bring Christ in them. And I believe that Christ is also present in their hearts. And through them, we are also need to be inspired. No, not only us, we're bringing Christ in them, but at the same time, we need also to discover, to experience the Christ who are in themselves. No? By sharing all the diverse, particular, and personal talents, the MSSP help people to experience the love of God through their words and actions, so they too may journey together in faith towards the fulfillment of God's dream of unity. Working as a campus chaplain in the, in the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, known as the PUP. It's a very huge campus with over 70,000 uh, students. And there, most of the time, we are helping our students by accompanying them spiritually in their life, especially during their own activities. We give them our own support and help they need. We try to form them as leaders so that in the future, when they go out of their uh, on, from the campus, they can be able to help others with the activities that um, they've got in their own parishes. Like Paul, the MSSP establish small communities so that faith can be nourished and shared. They minister in parishes, administer sacraments, and help others to participate and be active members in the community. They empower young people in faith, give catechesis for children and adults. So our mission here in the Philippines is also to embrace people, uh, Filipinos, who want to join the mission and also to be of help to those people who really are need our help. Especially it would be, have been also good to work in, in Manila, but also it is important that we work also in the provinces. Why? Because those people in Manila, especially the squatter areas, they are not Manila people. They, they are people coming from the provinces. And that shows that the provinces lack opportunities of work and of further studies and further uh, development. So uh, coming here, one can feel uh, the pulse and the reality of these people and especially about their struggles. So uh, it is positive for us to be present here and also to be of hope for them. My experience in Bataan was beautiful for me. Bataan is the poor parish in the Philippines. I went there for years ago and I got so much the experience of love, experience of openness. But in the Bataan, the people they live with, with all their hearts. I mean, they live very simple way. I mean, they live with on the, their hearts.
In less developed countries, we offer financial and social support, promoting a more just society. For those who want to go the extra mile, we offer accompaniment in cross-cultural missionary experiences. After witnessing the authentic works of the MSSP, many young people, including myself, were motivated to continue the works inspired by Joseph DePiro here in Australia. The young Paulists served the local community as well as fundraise for global initiatives led by the MSSP. It is very important that those who are called for religious and missionary life also receive the adequate uh, training and preparation. Uh, during the time of initial formation, the brother, the student, enters into a time of grace where uh, he is prepared for the mission that is coming ahead and is also given the time and the opportunity to enter into deep communion with God. Living in community is a challenge, but not without its blessings. I'm Brian, a Polish seminarian. In our formation, we learned how to form a strong communion. We shared our lives and we shared our faith as well. We listen to each other's story and support each other's struggles. And this is community life and communion is great. Those in formation are challenged to go out of their comfort zone to use creatively their own gifts, appreciate their own culture, while celebrating diversity as they live in a multicultural community. Although we are from different countries, different personality, different cultures, but we learn from each other. We experience the beauty of each other, especially we share the same faith, the same spirit of God. It helps me to discover the uh, beauty of another country and learn from them. So I really appreciate uh, my community, international community. So the MSSP community here in Manila really helped me get through a really tough time in my life. So this is where I really found a really good connection with God again and uh, really revitalized my faith. This community is the house of light for me. And then through this, I will cultivate all my inner soul, inner heart, and then my own self. The MSSP helped me and guide me in every step that I can, in every step through my journey of faith with embracing um, love and support and also MSSP um, allow me to discover what are the gifts and talents that God has given to me that I can share to, to my brothers and sisters and to serve God. MSSP is friends or family and a community which pour out from the love of God. For me, um, MSSP is, a, is the place where I've, I found more about myself about my spirituality, it is a place which molds me to know more about God. And MSAP is my family, where I can share my happiness, my sorrowness. I can, I, I have freedom, have free when I stay here. For us who are engaged in this plan, it gives so much life and joy in our hearts. Fulfilling this dream together is what gives us the strength to continue. The plan of God is beautiful, exciting. We pray, we study, we minister together, all empowered by the love of God. <laughs>